A bombshell was just dropped by the Social Security Administration, which is going to impact the lives of millions of people. If you are a senior, a disabled American, or a low-income family, you may be eligible to receive thousands of dollars more beginning next week. However, the most exciting part is about to come. You risk losing out on potential profits if you are unaware of these updates. In the following minutes, I will explain in detail what is changing and who it impacts, so be sure to stay connected and what you can do to guarantee that you receive the rewards that are rightfully yours. This isn't your average government report. To put it simply, this is a revolutionary development that may determine whether innumerable Americans will continue to struggle or find stability. Are you prepared to learn whether you're about to receive a windfall? All right, let's get started. Here at Fact File Check, we take pride in being your go-to resource for all things related to Social Security and stimulus payments, specifically designed for American seniors and includes information on SSISDI and VIA recipients. Greetings to each and every one of you. Come on, let's dive in. Allow me to provide some background information before we get into the meat of these massive changes. Ours is a time of great upheaval. Everyone, there has never been more economic uncertainty than right now as we approach a presidential election that is sure to be a contentious campaign. Concerns regarding the future of their finances are valid concerns. There is, nevertheless, a flicker of optimism in the distance amid all this doubt. An unprecedented declaration by the Social Security Administration is about to change the face of American social assistance. Viewers, listen up, this is huge news, particularly for low-income Americans and the elderly. Oops, another government program modification, I hear you say? What impact will this have on me? Give it a while. Because these changes could greatly affect your life or the lives of others you care about, regardless of whether you are receiving benefits, know someone who does or might need them in the future. Let us ensure that our understanding of SSI is consistent before we go into the adjustments. It has been in existence since the 1970s as a program known as Supplemental Security Income, or SSI. However, this is not the same as the standard retirement payments offered by Social Security. A completely separate game is SSI. SSSI is more than a handout, it's a lifeline for a lot of people who get it. We're comparing a life with a roof over your head to one without, or a table with food on it to one without. So let's get down to brass tacks now that we've covered the essentials. Social Security Commissioner Martin O'Malley made a shocking announcement on September 30th. In a news release that rocked the social benefits industry, O'Malley unveiled a slew of significant reforms to the Supplemental Security Income SSI program. Listen closely for what he said is really important. More people will be able to get the SSI payments they need thanks to these changes. We are making SSI smarter by streamlining our policies which removes obstacles to accessing the program and reduces the strain on both the public and agency staff. I don't know about you, but I pay more attention whenever a government figure mentions simplifying things and removing impediments. Since, come on, interacting with government programs is often like trying to walk through a maze while holding two lit torches in each hand. Therefore, I support efforts to simplify things. As far as these calculations are concerned, the good news is that food is no longer an option. For individuals who depend on informal support networks for survival, this modification eliminates a huge obstacle. The idea that community support should be promoted rather than punished is acknowledged. The National Rental Assistance Program rental subsidies are about to undergo a major transformation, and that is last but not least. A regulation that prevented the reduction of benefits owing to rental assistance for individuals paying a minimum amount toward rent was previously enforced in seven states. The country is now under this safeguard. Subsidized housing and rent assistance recipients on supplemental security income will find this to be a monumental issue. This means that receiving such help will not be penalized, which can greatly impact their capacity to maintain housing. I know what you're thinking, how does this translate into actual dollars? The figures are really astounding, so keep your hats on. The Social Security Administration has projected that approximately 90,000 individuals would get a $131 boost to their monthly SSI income. A potential increase of about $132 monthly would reach an additional 41,000 individuals. There may be thousands more people who can get SSI benefits today who weren't eligible before. I get that some of you might not think that $131 or $132 monthly is a lot. However, that additional cash can make a world of difference for someone who is already struggling to make ends meet on a fixed income. The ability to pay for essential drugs, not having to cut back on food or electricity, and perhaps even having some money left over for a little indulgence like a movie rental or magazine subscription are all things we're talking about. 
The increases shown below are monthly. An additional $1,500 to $16 per year is what we're talking about. People, that is important. In this light, bolstering social safety net programs isn't merely an admirable goal. For our society to remain stable, it is important. With these SSI reforms, the government has acknowledged the need to do more to help the most vulnerable members of our society. Money isn't the only thing. These alterations also reflect a philosophical change. The social. Security Administration is facilitating people's access to necessary assistance by streamlining procedures and eliminating obstacles. This is vital since many people who are eligible for assistance are unable to receive it due to bureaucratic red tape and complex regulations. Now, I am not fulfilling my job duties until I do my best to address the possible objections and obstacles that these adjustments could encounter. Because, come on, there are always going to be some who are against a policy shift. The expense to taxpayers is one possible point of contention. Costs are an inevitable part of growing any government operation. Opponents of the measures may claim that they will put an undue financial strain on taxpayers. Problems with fraud. There is always concern that fraud may rise in response to enhanced benefits. Simplifying the regulations, some would say, could invite more system gaming. Employees are discouraged from work. The question of whether increasing access to social benefits makes people less likely to look for work is a contentious one. There are many who worry that these reforms may lead to an increase in the number of individuals who need welfare. Problems with implementation, such as updates to large government programs, are inevitable. The implementation of these new regulations is likely to be fraught with difficulties. It is important to address these reasonable concerns in a sensible manner. We must, however, consider the genuine advantages these reforms will offer to our most disadvantaged residents in light of these possible downsides. Let others know. Feel free to share this video with your loved ones and post it on social media. More people will be able to take advantage of these developments if they are aware of them. Always be up to date. There is always more to discover about these intricate topics. As these changes are put into effect, be sure to check credible news sources for updates and commentary. Everyone, that concludes our extensive analysis of the forthcoming changes to the Supplemental Security Income Program. These changes mark a sea change in our nation's approach to social assistance and millions. of people will feel the effects of it. It is more crucial than ever to be aware, engaged, and supportive of our communities as we face these changes in the unpredictable economic times that lie ahead. The way a community handles its most defenseless members is indicative of its overall quality. An improved social safety net is within reach with these SSI reforms.